The Commissioner for the Environment is the member of the European Commission responsible for EU environmental policy. The current Commissioner is Carmen Uvella. The European Union has made a number of environmental moves, partially in regard to climate change. Most notably it signed the Kyoto Protocol in 1998, set up its emission trading scheme in 2005 and is currently agreeing to unilaterally cut its emissions by 20% by 2020. See, Energy Policy of the European Union other policies include Natura 2000, a widespread and successful network of nature conservation sites, the registration, evaluation and authorization of chemicals reach directive requiring safety testing on widely used chemicals, and the Water Framework Directive ensuring water quality reaches higher standards. <laughs> Current Commissioner The current commissioner is Carmen Uvella of Malta. In his hearing before the Committee on the Environment, Public Health and Food Safety and the Committee on Fisheries, and in his introductory statement to the European Parliament, Vella listed as his priorities green growth, protection of natural capital, and safeguarding the Union's citizens from environment-related pressures and risks to health. <laughs> Former commissioners Stavros Demis During his hearing with the European Parliament, Stavros Demis announced four main priorities for his term in office – climate change, biodiversity, public health and sustainability, highlighting the importance of the Kyoto Protocol, the Natura 2000 project, the REACH Directive, and the need to better enforce existing EU environmental legislation. On Demis' website he lists the following key policy areas, air, biotechnology, chemicals, civil protection and environmental accidents, climate change, environmental technologies, health, international issues and enlargement, nature and biodiversity, noise, soil, sustainable development, urban environment, waste and water. At the UN's Buenos Aires talks on climate change in December 2004 he attempted to negotiate mandatory emissions reductions to follow the expiration of Kyoto in 2012. This met with opposition from the USA, whose representatives refused to discuss it. Demas oversaw the introduction of the EU's emissions trading scheme that took effect on 1 January 2005, despite emissions reduction plans from Poland, Italy, the Czech Republic and Greece not having been approved on time. He also sought to include companies operating aircraft under the emissions trading regime. In February 2007 the Commissioner put forward his plans to increase fuel efficiency standards of cars so that emissions are no more than 130 grams of CO2 per kilometre, down from 162 grams per kilometre in 2005. This caused anger from the European car industry which was stoked by the Commissioner requesting a Japanese car, a Toyota Prius, instead of a European make due to the Toyota's better environmental standards. Four. In response to the refusal of countries to ratify the Kyoto Protocol, such as the United States and Australia the latter of which exchanged viewpoints with the EU on the matter, the EU has been looking to tax products imported from those countries not taking low-carbon policies on board border tax adjustments. Australia has since ratified the Kyoto Protocol, at the Bali COP in December 2007. <laughs> Carlo Ripa di Miana. Carlo Ripa di Miana was appointed Environment Commissioner in 1990 which coincided with increased public interest and awareness in environmental issues. Ripa di Miana's appointment took place at the same time as that of a new Directorate General, Brinkhorst. They both tried to change the image of DG11 now DG Environment in charge of environmental issues and make it a more mainstream actor. According to Sean Quinlevin the then president of the commission, Jacques Delors, did not appreciate Ripa di Mina's political style and their relationship became strained. Ripa di Miana was eventually replaced by Carol van Meert for a period of six months until a full-time replacement could be found. Yet van Meert supported what had been done before him and described environmental policy as one of our most successful policies, and one of the best understood. List of commissioners Topic <laughs> See also Directorate General for the Environment EU Environmental Policy European Environment Agency 
Coordination of Information on the Environment Global Warming and Kyoto Protocol European Climate Change Programme European Union Emission Trading Scheme Renewable energy in the European Union Transport in the European Union Water supply and sanitation in the European Union Water Framework Directive REACH Directive Geography of the European Union Natura 2000 Common Agricultural Policy Common Fisheries Policy External links Commissioner Demas website Commission's Environment website Eurostat – Statistics Explained – All Articles on Environment Celebrating the Environmental Union Stavros Demis.